This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be speaking about the arcade classic video game Dig Dug. The Labyrinth arcade game Dig Dug was created by Namco in 1981 and published in 1982. With Atari handling distribution in North America, Dig Dug is controlled by the player who is to eliminate all adversaries on each stage by either crushing them beneath rocks or expanding them to the point of explosion. Masahisa Ikigami and Shigeru Yokoyama, the creators of the video game Galaga, built a small team, and they worked together to plan and create Dig Dug. Shuichi Fukutani and Toshio Sakai, who worked on many of Namco's earlier arcade games, were recruited for the Dig Dug team, and programmed this game on the Namco Galaga arcade board. It was widely advertised by Namco as a strategic digging game. When Dig Dug first came out, Reviewers praised it for its strategy, attractive characters, and compelling gameplay. It had widespread success during the heyday of arcade video games, ranking as 1982's second highest grossing arcade game in Japan. It sparked numerous spin offs and sequels for other platforms, such as the Mr. Driller series. Dig Dug can today be found in numerous Namco game collections on various platforms, and it is not limited to its original arcade footprint. In Dig Dug, the game's main character must defeat Pukas, a red creature with absurdly huge goggles, and figures, a fire-breathing green dragon. Dig Dug can crush them under huge falling rocks or use an air pump to pump them full of air until they burst. When two rocks are dropped in a stage, a bonus item that can be eaten for points is produced, and bonus points are provided for crushing numerous adversaries with a single rock. Dig Dug moves on to the next stage after all of the adversaries have been eliminated. Enemies can take the shape of ghosts and pursue Dig Dug through the soil, only to solidify on the other side. Where Dig Dug can use his pump to eliminate his adversary. The final foe then tries to flee but not before the others progressively grow faster and get more aggressive. Subsequent levels have different colored dirt and faster and more numerous foes. The soundtrack was written by video game newcomer Yuriko Kaino. She was tasked with creating the movement sounds for Dig Dug but she was unable to create a convincing stepping sound, so she created a little tune instead. In contrast to Pac-Man's labyrinth exploration, the team planned to allow player-designed mazes that could inspire original gameplay ideas. The phrase, strategic digging game, appears frequently in Namco's marketing materials. Release day for Dig Dug in Japan was February 20, 1982. In accordance with the licensing agreement with Namco, Atari released it in North America in April 1982. It was launched by Namco on April 19, 1982, in Europe. Atari created and published the first Dig Dug home conversion for the Atari 2600 in 1983. This was followed by releases for the Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit Family, Commodore 64, and Apple II. It was ported to the MSX, Casio PV-1000, and Famicom in Japan in 1983, 1984, and 1985, respectively. In North America Namco released a Game Boy conversion in 1992, along with the brand new game, New Dig Dug, in which the player had to gather keys to unlock and exit doors. This version was later included in the 1996 Japan-only compilation, Namco Gallery Vol. 2, along with Galaxian, The Tower of Druaga, and Famista 4. A company called Dempa also created the Sharp X68000 in Japan, which was packaged with Dig Dug 2 in 1995. As part of the Famicom miniseries, the Famicom version was re-released in Japan in 2004 for the Game Boy Advance. Thank you for watching this informational demo of Dig Dug. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are just small clicks to you, but they help this channel grow and mean the world to us, so thank you.